guys so I've been wanting to make this update uh, since a long time ago and um, today I will uh, I want to talk to you about uh, my gallbladder surgery that I have over a year and a half ago um, so let me start with um, so how I've been feeling over this year and um, pretty much the same I mean there is not big difference like you read or at least for me like you reading on the internet like your your life is gonna change your life is gonna change and you will not be able to eat uh, a lot of the things that you like and some of that it's part of true but um yeah so i'm going to start but uh, i have a um sensitivity on my scar it's not too big like it was. Oh, my hair is driving me crazy. So it's not like it was just when I got my surgery. But I still feel like a little tingling sensation when I touch around the uh, scar. My scar is this big and probably I'm going to put a picture somewhere at the end of maybe. I don't know. So uh, my scar is this big. So I have... Another of the things that I noticed since my surgery is that I have no moderation on my appetite. I don't know when I'm full or when I'm uh, any more full. So I don't know if it's that part of the surgery, but it really bothers me because I have gained a lot of weight since then. And um, trying to get it out is hard. So I know it has something to do with that too. And um, I also have, uh, sometimes I feel like there's a, you know how the pain is, sorry about the hair, I know it's driving you crazy too, so you know how the pain was when you had it, or if you still have it, uh, it was really um, weird and, you know, below your rib cage, and um, so I still get sometimes a little feeling, but it's not a pain, it's just like, uh, a little uh, ball or something round passes through that point and oh my god it's so painful because my stomach well that part of my abdomen gets really really hard and like tied up so it's a weird sensation and that's something that I didn't expect and and uh, it has happened like lately and it's I don't know just weird and I need to talk to my doctor about that. Uh, what my um, I can eat pretty much everything. I don't have problem eating foods, and I've heard, I I heard and I read uh, also on the internet that some people have trouble eating some certain foods and stuff. I eat pretty much everything, and yeah, some foods make me bloated like really greasy greasy foods or if i drink too much soda because uh, of the gas and stuff but um i don't really have any like problems with my stomach uh for the gallbladder so i don't know probably that's just my case and um what other things so pretty much i think it's pretty much for this update i mean i didn't have a lot to talk about but i've been wanting to make this video since forever because i get a lot of uh questions about it and uh i had my my surgery was an open surgery and i'm gonna leave the link below the one that i did before if you haven't seen it but it was an open surgery and it was complicated that's what the doctor said so um yeah my scar is pretty big i actually have like three scars and i'm not sure if i'm gonna be able to show it right now because you know so um but yeah i found like pregnancy is really related to the gallstones and gallbladder removal because i've heard a lot of mommies here on youtube or or um uh have had sorry i cannot talk because this hair is distracting me so I have, they have had their uh, gallbladder removed and um, I don't know if it has something to do with the pills that you take for, uh, you know, the um, prenatal pills or um, if you take another supplement. I, I remember I was taking 
when my son prenatal pills and there was something else that it was also some some sort of vitamin that my doctor gave me um, what else uh, also maybe it's the baby that really pushes the uh, gallbladder up and that makes the attacks stronger after you have him because it takes a long time to everything to get in the place that they were so yeah my surgery was four months uh, after my son was born so uh, yeah I read like um, another mo YouTube mommy gave me I think her baby is uh, around two months I'm not sure and she needs to get surgery if he hasn't had it already and upload the video so I know it's sort of related but I don't really know how but I really want to get into and I'm really scared of getting pregnant again and getting to you know have something removed again so yeah guys that's pretty much for this update if you have any questions or something just let me know and I'm gonna put the link of my other video down below so you can check it out so thank you so much for watching and i will talk to you guys later bye